Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a moment to see how we can use the History panel and Before and After view in the Develop module in Lightroom Classic. To save time, I've made several changes to this image already. To view the list of changes, I'll click on the History panel. Lightroom Classic keeps track of every change that we make to an image in the Develop module and stores that information in the catalog. It uses the History panel to display those edits so that you can access the edits for an image at any time. So let's make an adjustment to the temperature slider. Every time an edit is made to a slider, Lightroom Classic adds the changes to the top of the history stack. To undo a change, we can use the Edit menu and choose to undo what we just did, or we can use the keyboard shortcut Command-Z on Mac or Control-Z on Windows. Now to continue going back in time, we can select the next step from the menu, or we can repeat the shortcut. To go forward in time, we can select the Redo option, or use Command or Control plus Shift and Z. But as you build up more and more history, it might be easier to use the History panel to return to a previous state of your image, especially if you've made edits to an image in a different editing session, because the Undo command keeps track of more than just the edits made in the Develop module. For example, if I go to the Library module and then return to the Develop module, now when I choose Edit, the Undo command would take me back to the library. Lightroom Classic doesn't continue to take me back down through my edits in history. All right, positioning my cursor over any history state will preview that state in the Navigator panel as well as the preview area. But depending on the speed of your computer, or if you find this preview distracting, you can choose Preferences, on Windows this would be under Edit, and then Performance, and uncheck Enable Hover Previews of Presets, History, and Snapshots in Loop. Just know that it will disable the preview on Hover not only for history, but also when positioning the cursor over presets or snapshots. You'll still be able to see the preview in the Navigator panel, just not in the larger preview area. Next, let's click on a state in the History panel. Notice that the more recent states are still accessible. However, if we have a previous state selected and then we make a change, any state that's more recent than the state you have selected will be replaced by the new edit that you make. Although at this point, I can still use undo in order to recover them. Now let's see how the history panel can be useful when using the before and after view. When you first select the YY icon or you tap the Y key to access before and after, the left image displays the imported image and the after shows your current state. We can use the small triangle next to the icon to select from the different layouts for before and after, or we can simply click on the icon to toggle through the different layouts. We can also choose the view menu and then before and after and use these shortcuts to view different layouts including the backslash key to toggle before and after full screen. Okay, let's take this image to black and white, and then I'll select color grading and I'll add a slight sepia tint. I'll add a reddish orange to the shadows and more of a yellow to the midtones. Now, what if we want to compare the black and white state of the image to the current state? Well, all we need to do is click drag the state to the before side. Don't click and release the mouse on a state or that will select the state. You have to click and drag without releasing the mouse. Or you can right click or control click on Mac on a state and then choose copy history step to before. For me, this makes the history panel infinitely more useful as I can compare any state from history to my current state. We can also use these icons to copy the before settings to after, or copy the after settings to before, or even exchange the before and after states. If you want to clear the entire history of edits, we can click on the X. We can also right click or control click on Mac on a state and choose to clear history above this step. You can even select multiple images and choose develop, clear history. Lightroom Classic will ask you if you want to clear the history for the active photo or from all selected photos. But the history settings don't take up that much space in the catalog, so I don't tend to clear my history. But I suppose it would decrease the size a wee bit depending on how many images you have and how many edits you've made to them. I'm Julianne Cost. 
Thanks for watching.